Meet a young man you'll be hearing a lot of in the near future, Anthony Wager, chosen from thousands of schoolboys for the part of Pip in the film version of Dickens' famous novel, Great Expectations. His two sisters, Marilyn and Gail, are as proud as Mr. and Mrs. Wager and baby Cynthia of their big brother who's won fame in a day. At home, Tony is just like any other schoolboy. His chief interest is in the burning question, what's for dinner? And when the meal's over, he turns into a handyman and helps Marilyn with the washing up, while she tries to pump him on what it's like in the film studios, meeting all those famous people whose autographs she collects. Little do the chickens realize that the young man who feeds them is now a film star. And now, let's see young Tony in his new world, the world of films, getting used to the taste and smell of makeup. Tony spends at least four hours every day at lessons with his governess, Mrs. Bevel, but he's glad when they call him away from sums for a spot of grub. Tony lines up for his lunch with other members of the Great Expectations Unit. Beside him is Bernard Miles, made up as Joe Gargery, and the late comer is Uncle Pumblechook, played by Hay Petrie. After lunch in the open air, it's time to get on with a bit of filming. While the cameraman looks on, Tony rehearses his scene with Mrs. Gargery, played by Frida Jackson. And now they're all ready for a take. A shout of Rolum and Tony gets his watery baptism into films. <laughs> 